Expect a fireworks show today, to say the least. Beautiful Silverado Golf Course, episode two here. Once again, want to give a shout out to the people here letting us come on, absolutely abuse their course. We got a really <laughs> special guest here. He was the 10th, 10th, 10th yep. overall pick in the 2018. 19. 19. Good research, Roz. <laughs> MLB draft by the San Francisco Giants. It's Hunter Bishop. He's an ASU Sun Devil. He's going to most likely show me up. <laughs> So first hole here, I just want to make contact. Anything this way, backwards. Hunter was a golfer. He did barely played baseball um, up until like high school. So he's going to kick the shit out of me. Yes, yeah, so we're here, Silverado. Got a coyote on the uh, first hole over there. Show and go is like my 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 thing. You know, I never hit balls on the range. I just I just absolutely get it right. You know, so here we go. Oh, and it's right down the middle. Oh, a duke! Good thing is, is that if you go one for two, you're essentially a Hall of Famer. Go, bitch. Oh, that's a pretty good shot. Go, Bobby. All right, wow. so we're one for two, so we're a Hall of Famer. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, great stroke. Wow. That's a real quick Couple of pars. So after that first hole, honestly, I couldn't feel better. I'm not gonna lie, a little disappointed in my first hole. Great drive, great drive to start the day. Show and go, like I said. Nothing, couldn't expect anything more. But we're gonna get it here. I don't think Orlando can hit this green. Uh, I've seen, you know, I've seen his swing. I, man, that, that hybrid he hit from the ferry. I think my grandmother could have hit that one farther, so. Oh, it's gonna be on the green. So one of the coolest things, I think not many people know, I think people are starting to know, he had briefly mentioned it, is that Hunter over here didn't play baseball, high school baseball, until what? What is junior it, junior year? year? Yeah. So you want to go into that story? Like, hey, I could maybe be a first rounder here, so <laughs> I might do that. Yeah, I mean, I played Little League growing up. Obviously, it was big in uh, where we're from back home, uh, San Carlos. Um, but I go. I was always a football player growing up. My brother always kind of had the, the limelight on him. You know, he was the star of the family for baseball. Um, so I just figured I'd get my own my own sport and started playing football. Met Coach Walsh at Sarah, still one of my closest buddies. And uh, just, that was, I thought that was my sport. And uh, when I was at Sarah, I had transferred from a high school called St. Francis and- It's a great decision. Yeah, great, fantastic Greatest decision. decision he's ever made. I couldn't agree more. Um, and I had just met the baseball coach at Sarah, Coach Giannino, and uh, made a cool little connection with him. And uh, he just said, hey, why don't you come try out? Um, so I just played junior year of baseball, DH the whole year because he thought there were some better players than me, which is fine. I still give him you know, a hard time about it, but I decided to play baseball and senior year, I had a pretty big year. You know, I was starting to grow into my body and I got drafted at a high school from the Padres, but I decided to go to ASU and the rest is history. Pretty good. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You know, I'm just trying to destroy Orlando. That's that. Wow. Oh, I'll give you that. What a shot. I hope that he gives it to me because I, I don't trust myself to make that putt. Uh, I really appreciate that. He gave it to me. Oh, again, another lip out. No. Four. Four. No. no, no. Wow. Oh. Bro, and he fucking skulls it like an idiot. Time to save myself. Again. I'm really frustrated right now. You can probably tell that in my voice. Hopefully this doesn't go there. That's all I'm hoping. Oh, and he dumps it. And it goes there. Oh, got it. So we were tied going into um, hole seven. And from there, uh, Hunter has now taken a commanding three shot lead. Seven, eight, nine, really good holes. I think I went birdie, par birdie. I think it was pretty lucky he was playing that well on the first six, but even par 35, not mad about it. Uh, just gonna stick to my day job and keep having fun, but there's literally no chance this guy wins, so. What's your day job? Um, music, baseball, who knows. I'm going down to LA to work with Marshmallow next week. How 
crazy is that? Holy shit, he just dropped that on us. I've seen him live. I've seen Marshmallow live in Vegas. Um, it was it was a time to say the least. There's a few videos that circulate on the internet every now and then of me at Marshmallow. It was me in my underwear. Um, that is epic. Yeah, I didn't That's bring, epic. I went to a pool party, um, a night pool party with Marshmallow performing, but I didn't know it was a night pool party. So I wore a button down and uh, some, some khaki pants and I ended up just losing that, just launched my tarp, launched my pants, uh, and just jumped into my underwear. Oh, Alright, we'd be remiss not to talk about one of the best causes that's, it's not just in the baseball world right now, it's just in the world. So, I want to say like six years ago now, my mom got diagnosed with uh, early onset Alzheimer's. And I mean, it's super rare for young people. I think she was 48, 50 when she got diagnosed with it. And to be honest, I was, what, I was probably 15, 16. So I didn't really know, you know, the, the repercussions that would happen down the road. Um, so like fast forward, you know, she struggled with the disease for four and a half, five years. And she passed away last October. Um, but I want to say three or four years ago, you know, my brother had just kind of broken into the pr professional baseball and in college he had started just this small foundation that we titled For Mom. As I've seen more and more, I know teammates that have had moms or parents who have had it. Um, so we started it about three or four, maybe even five years ago now, just to raise awareness and over the last two years it's just, it's blown up and the, the support and, you know, just the people that, that help us, you know, get to where we are with supporting just our mom um, is unbelievable and just helping people that, you know, go through the situations, whether it's, you know, family members or the person who actually has it, you know. We're just trying to make a little bit of a difference to hopefully one day eradicate the whole disease. Website? Website for mom.org. Uh, we, you know, granted COVID's going on this year, but, you know, once COVID gets, you know, gets out of here and uh, we're back to running this world like it should be um, and no disease or no, no pandemic going on. Uh, we have events and uh, fundraisers for this exact disease. So uh, we do want to top golf every spring training. So I'm not sure you know, what that's going to hold. Probably not going to happen this, this spring training, but we'll, we'll hold some events as soon as COVID gets out of here and uh, really excited to build off of it. You heard it here, the Four Mom Foundation. Go to the website, buy some merch. They got great shirts. I got my Four Mom shirt. My mom has a bunch of Four Mom stuff. It's, it's one of the cool, cooler stories in the sports world. Oh, don't go left. Dude, that ball was absolutely hadouken. Oh, great ball. They're on their fifth putt. Oh, look at this. When you're playing Tiger, man, it's tough to beat, you know. Who's the most famous person in here? Tom Brady, absolutely. Absolutely. Do you have his phone number? Yeah, I've, I text him. Does he have multiple numbers? No, I, I don't know. I just know he has one. I honestly have made me, it was pretty cool. Like my like coming to the world moment was when I got drafted and I got a text from Tom Brady saying like, Hunter, congratulations. That's probably the coolest. Baseball, like I think Mike Trout was the one guy when I was in the cage with him. Like he, we were playing the Angels in spring training, and um, I, he was right next to me hitting. I was probably the one baseball player. I was like, wow, like this guy is. That's Mike Trout. Like that's probably the one baseball player I get starstruck from. Maybe Bonds, but I've met very good amount. So, want you know, I feel bad. I feel I honestly feel bad. I come on his show and I beat him. I, I just feel bad. Well, I gotta get someone that sucks ass. Yeah, you really. Yeah. If this guy wins five holes in a row, I'm quitting. Him. Still tied. We can now no longer count uh, the amount of four chips that I've had on two hands. I gave it my best. Great ball. Yeah, here comes a new kid. He puts Paul George on the barbecue and says, Well done. Playing my ass off here, and then we have this freak of nature that just decides to come on the course and kind of embarrass me. It's not really embarrassing because if I'm playing against Johnny No Name, we well, just saw that. Oh. You know, I would help him, but nah. <laughs> Here goes nothing, papi. Might have to throw Los Manos. He was, he was on the green. Yeah. They were all on the green, and then we just saw him run off to the exact spot I hit my drive and hit a ball and then run to the green. He's not fighting anyone. I'll be the guy. Pick up a Bridgestone ball at a hole, I believe it was yeah. not 17, but 16. 
Callaways is what we got. We both okay. got Callaways. Yeah, Just said he didn't hit Hunter's ball. He definitely hit Hunter's ball. Whatever his name was, it's now Pinocchio because he's a liar. I'm pissed. The guy's a liar. We should just edit his nose. To They're be playing huge. the damn. We're winding down here, 18th hole, par three. Very scenic. I got one more question to ask. What are you most looking forward to? What is your mindset going into the season? Yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm super excited to hopefully make a splash this year and uh, get into the big leagues at some point. Uh, I mean, that's my it's my hope, it's my plan, it's my goal. I mean, at the end of the day, you really have no no control of other than yourself and how you perform and take care of yourself. So we'll go from there. Got good. I'm not in the water. Hold it. Fuck. Great round, brother. Yep. Thanks for having me always, out. Always, always. Uh, once again, Silverado Golf Course, thank you so much for having us. Thank you for Hunter for coming. You're welcome on anytime. Really appreciate you guys having me on. Had an absolute blast. Uh, check out this guy. This guy's gonna be a big, big time guy here soon. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to see where this thing goes. And now uh, this is this is something we've been doing. I'm a big fan of sportsmanship. We're gonna do the driver swap. Um, it's it's uh, it's just a way to show respect for the game. This is the driver swap. I now have a right-handed driver. I'm a lefty. He now is a left-handed driver. He's a right-hander.